Srila Prabhupada's class on Nectar of Devotion. Mm. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, uh, Siddhartha Kaviraj Goswami, Lord Chaitanya states that it is a fortunate person who comes in contact with a bona fide spiritual master by the grace of Krishna. <clears throat> One who is serious about spiritual life is given by Krishna the intelligence to come in contact with a bona fide spiritual master. Yeah. Here it is stated, it is, it is a fortunate person, not the unfortunate. It is the fortunate person who comes in contact with a bona fide spiritual master. This question we are just discussing before coming to the class. How to select a bona fide spiritual master? So that is not very difficult. Just like in our ordinary business life, we accept somebody as representative of the form, who is actually canvassing for the benefit of the form, is represented. Suppose he is representing some bookseller, publisher, say who should canvass for selling the books published by his form, not for anything else. Suppose he has taken the advantage of becoming representative of a business firm, but he is doing his own business. He is not bona fide. He is not bona fide. So, real guru is Krishna. Ah. Krishna, Ahamivasam Agre. Krishna existed before the creation, then uh, he made his representative Brahmā. Tīne Brahmā rida ādi kamahi. He instructed the original guru, Brahmā, because there was no other living creature except Brahmā in the beginning of creation. And he instructed uh, Brahma, Tene Brahma Vida Adi Kavai. Uh, there are other versions in the Vedas that he instructed Brahma. So therefore, the original Guru is Krishna. Uh, the same Guru, Krishna, is in instructing Arjuna also. Krishna became guru of Arjuna. Arjuna accepted him guru. Shishas Deham. Arjuna said, Now I am not talking with you as friend, but I accept you as my guru. Therefore, by Shastri conclusion, Krishna is the original Guru. Who can deny it? Huh? Krishna is Jagat Guru. He is Guru of everyone because everyone accepting the authority of Guru, uh, Krishna. Anyone is accepting the authority of Bhagavad Gita, he is accepting imperceptibly Krishna as Guru. Therefore, bona fide spiritual master means who is representing Krishna. Who can deny it? So, to find out a bona fide spiritual master is not a very difficult job. Because if one is representing Guru uh, Krishna, then he must speak of Krishna, canvas for Krishna. What do you think? 
Vishanji. Uh, so that is bona fide guru. Where is the difficulty to find out a bona fide guru? Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Jare dakho tare kaho Krishna upadesh. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says uh, that you preach the words of Krishna. Therefore, he is bona fide. Similarly, anyone who is representing Krishna and canvassing for Krishna, he is bona fide. What is the difficult? Is there any difficult? Anyone can understand that if Krishna is the original guru, and if somebody is canvassing for Krishna, he is bona fide. If somebody is canvassing for himself, he is not bona fide. Ah. So there is no difficulty to find out the bona fide guru, provided I am serious to find out the bona fide guru. Hmm. But if I want something else, ah, because Vidyantastavadrani, if in my heart there is something else, then I must be cheated by some somebody else who is not a bona fide guru. Ah. So to find out a bona fide guru, spiritual master, is not very difficult. Uh, it is very easy. Krishna says explicitly, Evang parampara praptam imang raja sayo vidu. This knowledge, Vedic knowledge, is received by parampara system. Uh, just like Krishna said to uh, Sun God, Imam vivasati jugam praktavanaham abhyam vivasyan manave praho manu ikhaka vibravit evam param praptam imam rajar sayo didu. Krishna said, that's this yoga system, first of all I explained to the son God. And he explained to his son Manu. And Manu explained to his son Ikhaku, in this way, by the parampara system, by the disciplic succession, the knowledge is coming. So kālena yoga parantapa. But as soon as it began to be explained by others, without being in the disciplic succession, in the chain of disciplic succession, speaking the same truth, it becomes broken. So Kalena, Yoga Nashta. Yoga Nashta is a spoil. If one does not come in the disciplic succession, he will spoil the teaching that is being done. So called commentator, teacher of Bhagavad Gita. He does not come in the disciplic succession. He is self-made guru. Therefore, he is not guru. A self-made guru cannot be guru. He must be authorized by the bona fide guru. Then he is guru. This is the fact. Oh. Yeah. Nobody can be self-made anything. A medical practitioner, he cannot become self-made. That I have studied all the medical books in my home. No. Have you ever gone to the medical college and taken instruction from the bona fide uh, teachers? Then, if you have got the certificate, then you are medical practitioner. Similarly, bona fide guru means he must be authorized by the superior guru. 
Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Amara Gaya Guru Haya Taro this. He must receive the order from the superior. And the superior must be bona fide. Then he is bona fide. Not self made. Tasmad Gurum Prabhadeta. Jigyasu Sre Uttavam. The direction is that one must go to a guru. But who is guru? Shadi Pacha Parecha Nishnatam Brahmani Upasamasayam. These are the description. So to find out a bona fide guru is not difficult, provided one is bona fide to search out a guru. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Lata Bija. By the mercy of Guru and Krishna. By the mercy of Krishna, one gets a bona fide Guru. And by the mercy of bona fide Guru, one gets Krishna. This is the process. When I am actually serious to have connection with Krishna, the Krishna is sitting in everyone's heart. Ishara Sarvabhutana Vridesha Arjuna Tishta. So Krishna can understand. We cannot hide anything from Krishna. That is not possible. Because Krishna is sitting side by side, just like two birds sitting side by side. One bird is eating the fruit of the tree, another bird is the witness. That is the Vedic version. So as soon as I become serious, to know about Krishna. Krishna can understand. Now my friend is very serious. Say we will find out a bona fide guru for him. Therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Lakari. By the, by the uh, double mercy. Krishna's mercy and Guru's mercy. If one is serious, Krishna is satisfied. Now he is serious about finding out, about knowing me. Then Krishna gives his direction that here is Guru, my representative. You take shelter of him and you will get me. This is the way. That is explanation in this. That is by the grace of Krishna, that it is a fortunate person. Fortunate person means he must be sincere, serious to know about Krishna. That is fortunate. Uh, because our misfortune has begun by forgetting Krishna. Krishna bhuliya ji bhogavan chakar. When we desire to enjoy this material world, Forgetting service of Krishna, that is the beginning of our misfortune. That is the beginning. Because as soon as I forget Krishna, that is the beginning of my misfortune. So, in order to be, in order to become again fortunate, I have to become Krishna conscious. That is the way. The same. By somewhere other, on Adi Bohimok Ji, Krishna Bhuli Gila, Akai Krishna Maya, Katai Mayatar Golai Madhila. Somewhere other, we forgot Krishna. Unfortunate because we are, even we have got this opportunity of remembering Krishna, we are trying to avoid him. We are bringing so many nonsense things. Why not this? Why not that? Why not? This is misfortune. Krishna says, Sarva dharma parita jamam ekam saranam But we are presenting, why not this? Why not that? Why not this? Why not that? This is our misfortune. Why? Krishna says, maam ekam. 
Why shall I try to put another alternative? Why? What is the reason? That is our response. Krishna is offering the fortune. Sarvadharman paritajya mame kang saranang bhaja. This is fortune. But I will not take that. Krishna says, get up, give up all other engagements. Simply take shelter of me. I shall give you all protection. But I don't believe Krishna. Therefore it is my misfortune. This fortune to become fortunate and misfortunate, just like the English word, man is the architect of his own fortune. Is it not? Man is the architect of his own fortune. But if you, as you are architect of your own fortune, you are architect of your own misfortune. See, if you don't accept Krishna's advice, then you must consider yourself unfortunate. So we shall be cautious. Why shall I become unfortunate? I must become fortunate. So that to become fortunate is not a very difficult thing. All these Krishna conscious people that are fortunate, they have taken Krishna's advice as it is, without any change. They are fortunate. And that is being manifested, that they are fortunate. So this is the process. By the grace of Krishna, if we are sincere and serious, then Krishna becomes kind upon us and gives direction. Buddhi yogam dadami tam. I give them. Buddhi yogam. Buddhi means intelligence. So here, everyone has got intelligence. At least he thinks that he is very intelligent. Everyone thinks, although he is full number one, he thinks himself as very intelligent. Because intelligence is there, but when the intelligence is used for material fortune, that is unfortunate. When intelligence is used for developing Krishna consciousness, that is fortune. So we can set up our own fortune or misfortune. The fortune means that we must be serious. After hearing about Krishna, one must be serious. Krishna says, Sarvadharman paritajya mamekaṁ saranaṁ vajya. So if you are intelligent, we should seriously think over this. Proposal. So why Krishna says, give up everything and surrender unto me? Uh, there is sufficient reason. If one has seriously studied Bhagavad Gita, there is sufficient reason to surrender unto God, unto Krishna. Uh, everywhere. That those who are karmis, Krishna says unto them, Jat Karosi, Jat Juhosi, Yadasnasi kuru satad madarpanam karmanne bhadikarasti māphalesu kadāchana. This is for the karmis. And for the jñānis, bhavnāṁ janmanāvanti jñānamān māṁ prapaddhati. After many, many births, the so-called jñānis, when he surrenders unto Krishna, that is success. Samahatma Sudurlava, Vāsudeva Sarvami. By culture of knowledge, by philosophical speculation, if one comes to this point, conclusion, that Vāsudeva Sarvami, the Vāsudeva Krishna is everything, then he is Gānava, real Gānava. That is real Gāne prayāsa mudapāsa. Namantayam. He must be submissive. 
That's a missing maze. Yes. After cultivating knowledge, my Lord Krishna, I have come to this conclusion that you are the supreme absolute truth. I bow down my head upon your Lord. That is real gain. That is gain. Otherwise, agyan. Uh, but they are accepting agyan as gain. To accept agyan as gain is the most unfortunate position. That is not gain. Uh, real gain is uh, how to surrender to Krishna. Uh, so this is jnana. For yogi, this instruction also is there. Karmi, jnani, yogi, and bhakta. There are four classes of men, transcendentalists. They are all transcendentalists, culturing, spiritual. That's, that's all right. But even in the spiritual cultivation, there is a superior, inferior, not exactly superior, inferior, because that is the material, but still there are classification. Ah. This classification is uh, ended when one comes to know Krishna. That's mean vijñāte sarvamedam vijñātam bhavanti. If one understands Krishna, then paramātmā and brahmā becomes automatically known. Sarvamedam vijñātam bhavanti. Just like if you have got one hundred thousand dollars, ten dollars is within it, fifty dollars is within it, five hundred dollars is within it. So in the Bhagavad Gita, everything is discussed there. Kana yoga, karma yoga, dhyana yoga, buddhi yoga, so many yogas. But Krishna says, sarva dharma an paritajya mame kaṁ saranaṁ vajā, ultimately. That means if you surrender unto me, all these yogas are included. All these yogas, karma yoga, gāna yoga, dhyana yoga, all yogas are included. Yogi nāma pi sarve that we have to understand. We have to become fortunate to understand this philosophy. Krishna bhakti koile sarbo karma krita ho. This this philosophy. If, if one surrenders to Krishna, if one becomes Krishna conscious, then he is karma yogi, jnana yogi, dhyana yogi, hato yogi, everything. Everything is included there. He hasn't got to practice separately karma yoga, dhyana yoga, gana yoga, hatha yoga. Everything is there. The hatha yogi is, they can display many wonderful things. But Krishna bhakta, without endeavoring for all these things, Krishna can show many magic on his behalf. Why should he? take trouble himself to play the magic himself. Krishna will show how magical things are performed by the devotees. Krishna will show. Oh. Just like a small child, he doesn't require to earn money for spending. If he's a rich man's son, his father will take care of him. Similarly, a devotee does not endeavor to become expert in jnana yoga, dhyana yoga, hatha yoga, this yoga. He depends on Krishna, and when some yogic, mystic power has to be shown, Krishna will show that. That is the process, bhakti yoga. You take to Krishna, and everything will be done, Krishna. Krishna says, ahaṅtva sarva pāpi bhamo khoṣya māsūca. Don't worry, I shall take care of you. Uh, therefore, the conclusion is that by one who is fortunate, he can take to Krishna consciousness cent per cent without any deviation. Uh, that is wanted. 
Gone. Then by the grace of the spiritual master, one becomes advanced in Krishna consciousness. In this way, the whole jurisdiction of Krishna consciousness is directly under the spiritual energy, Krishna and the spiritual master. This has nothing to do with the material world. When we speak of Krishna, we refer to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, along with his many expansions. Yes. Krishna is not alone. Just like when I speak of the king, although it is singular number, king means there are so many others. There is the queen, there is the minister, there is the secretary, there is the commander-in-chief, there is the bodyguard, there are so many other things. Similarly, when you speak of Krishna, Krishna means his expansions. He has got different types of expansion. Sangsha and Vivinangsa. Sangsha expansion is Vishnu Tattva. Krishna is the original person. Ahang Sarvasa Prabhava, Matta Sarvang Prabhattate. All others, just like Vishnu, Narayan, or demigods, all others, they are all expansions of Krishna. We are also expansion of Krishna. Uh, we living entities, we are Bibhinnāṅsa. Mamai Vāṅsa, Krishna says, Mamai Vāṅsa. Uh, Jīva-loka, Jīva-loka. Uh, the, all these living entities, they are my part and parcel. We are also expansion of Krishna. Or the demigods, they are also expansion of Krishna. The Vishnu tattva uh, they are also expansions of Krishna. Everyone. So Krishna means including his expansion, including his energies, including his personal paraphernalia, including his dhamma, everything. That is Krishna. Ramadi murti su kala niyameno tishthan. Tishthan means continuing to exist. Ramadi murti su kala niyamena. With his expansion, Sangsa expansion, Vibhinnangsa expansion. So Krishna is not alone. Krishna is not niraka. Krishna is not impersonal. Because he has got so many personal associates. Nitya, nityana. All these personal associates. They are individual person. We are all person. You are person, I am person. We are all individual. I have got my individual opinion. You have got your individual opinion. Oneness means when these individual opinions are coincided in the matter of surrendering to Krishna, that is oneness. Oneness does not mean that is all these individuals become one, homogeneous. No, they keep their individuality, but they become one in the service of Krishna. That is oneness. Now everyone is working for his sense gratification, personal. When everyone becomes agreed that we shall satisfy Krishna, that is oneness. That is oneness. One nation. We can understand. One family. One family means there are individual persons, but they are working uh, uh, for the interest of the family. All of them combinedly, conjointly working. Similarly, they are working conjointly for the society, or they are working conjointly for the community or conjointly working for the nation. That is oneness. When we speak we are Indian nation, oneness. That oneness does not mean that every individual Indian has become homogeneous with other Indians. No. Every Indian is an individual person, but he has sacrificed his individuality and engaged himself for the service of the country. That is. National consciousness. 
Similarly, Krishna consciousness. As there is national consciousness, community consciousness, family consciousness, so many other consciousness. Similarly, Krishna consciousness means all persons agree to work for the satisfaction of Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. That is oneness. Oneness does not mean we lose our individuality. Sometimes individually we fight, just like in the legislative assembly. Uh, our representative MPs, they go and fight. There is uh, deliberation. But, but the purpose is to serve the country. Therefore, uh, instead of the different of opinions, they agree to work in this way. That is legislative. Similarly, uh, individuality there must be always. But when we find out a uh, uh, one means to satisfy Krishna, uh, Krishna consciousness, to satisfy Krishna, that is oneness. Ekattam manupasyata. Eka, that is ekattam. Why? In other words, ekattam. This, this is the version of the Isho Upanishad. Ekattam anupasyata. Ekattam anupasyata. Ekattam at the same time, anupasyata. That means we are all spirit souls. We are part and parcel of Krishna. This is Anupasana. And on this basis, when we find ekattam, oneness, and that is the platform of peace. That we are all servant of Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu advised this. Jive Sarupai Nitya Krishna Das. When we feel that eternally, I am servant of Krishna, you are servant of Krishna. Uh, that is ekattam. Not that we become a lump of thing. No. Impersonality cannot be, personality cannot be changed. Jeeva loke, mamai vāṅsa jeeva bhūta jeeva loke sanātana. This individuality is sanātana, eternal. Uh, but when we disagree to serve Krishna, that is asanātana, not sanātana. That is artificial. So here in this material world, we have disagreed to serve Krishna. Uh, therefore the whole proposal is again agree to serve Krishna. sarva dharma an mame kaṁ saranam. This is real philosophy. We disagreed. Therefore we came into this material world and we are fighting with one another. Now the, again the proposal is they agree to this oneness, ekam, then there will be peace. Gyatya maam shanti micha. These things are there. Bhoktaram jagatapasam. Sarva loko mahasaram, sridam sarva bhutana, gyatya maam shanti michyati. We are becoming leaders, the friend of the people, but we are not friend of the people. Krishna is the friend of sridam sarva bhutana. If we simply say that I am your friend in this sense, that I or deliver the message to you that Krishna is your best friend. I do not, I am friend so far, I am giving you this information. But the actual friend is Krishna. Sridang Sarva Bhutana. So this is friendship. If one preaches Krishna consciousness and teaches everyone that Krishna is your best friend, uh, he does not say, I am your best friend. I am your best friend in this sense that I am giving you this information. Actually, Krishna is your best friend. What can I do? 
I am a teeny living entity. What can I do for you? I be, may become your friend. But when you are in danger, I cannot give you any protection. Krishna can give you protection. Uh, this is real friendship. Uh, he does not take himself. He always says, um, carries the message only. Jai Mang Mat Bhakti Sho Vidhasati. Simply our business is to carry the message of Krishna. Then we are friends. Otherwise we are not friends. We may pose to become friends, but we are not friends because we do not know how to benefit the friend. Sometimes we mislead him. Therefore our business is to point out that Krishna is your friend. Śrīdaṁ sarva bhūtānaṁ. He is the proprietor. Don't claim your proprietorship. You are not proprietor. You are falsely claiming. Because what you are claiming as your property, it will be taken away by Krishna at the time of your death. Everything will be finished. Mṛttu sarva harascha hom, Krishna says. Mṛttu, Krishna says, I am dead. When I take away everything from the person, his life, property, body, and everything. Uh, actually, we claim this is my property, this is moho. Ahaṁ mameti lokasya janasya mohoyam. Uh, this is friendship to educate people that you are not proprietor. Krishna is proprietor. You are not enjoyer. Krishna is enjoyer. Uh, you are seeking out friends to give you protection. Krishna is the supreme friend. We will give you protection. If we spread this message all over the world, then I am friend of Krishna and friend of the person. Otherwise, I am not friend, because I cannot become friend. Uh, I can simply carry, just like post peon gives you five thousand rupees, delivers. He does not deliver. Uh, somebody else is delivering. He is simply carrying. That's all. Similarly, if we simply carry the message of Krishna as it is, we become perfect. It is not very difficult. If I simply carry the message of Krishna, where is the difficulty? Everything is there. Krishna has said everything. Krishna says, Manmana bhava bhatmakta madhyaji maang namaskaru. We carry this message. Just always think of Krishna. Always offer obeisances to Krishna. Become a devotee of Krishna. Manmana, think of Krishna always. We have to carry this message. Where is the difficulty? So to become a bona fide spiritual master, there is no difficulty. See, simply if we carry the message of Krishna as it is without any adulteration. So we must find out a person who is actually bona fide spiritual master by this test that he is not, uh, I mean to say, adulterating Krishna's message. Uh, he is not playing foul with the message of Krishna in order to introduce himself, his person. He is simply presenting the message of Krishna as it is. Then he is spiritual master, nobody else. Thank you very much.